Hello everyone, I am Dong Yang-guk from KAIST and my advisor is Myung Soo Jung who leads Computer Architecture and Memory Systems Laboratory. Today, I will introduce our work CXL version 2 based end-to-end -end system for high performance memory disaggregation. Before moving on to the main talk, I will give you a high level summary of the talk. Our work's main research target is memory disaggregation, which can satisfy large memory requirements of various big data applications. Existing memory disaggregation use RDMA, but RDMA requires high monetary cost for specialized network interface card and switch, and it also degrades application performance because of microsecond level of memory access latency. Instead of RDMA, we suggest to use CXL for memory disaggregation. CXL can reduce monetary cost for memory disaggregation and minimize the performance degradation. However, CXL enabled system is not available for now. In this work, we designed CXL-based memory disaggregation, DirectCXL. DirectCXL implements CXL-enabled host, CXL memory device, and CXL switch. We also modified Linux kernel to expose CXL-attached memory to the user-level application. Our evaluation using real hardware prototype shows three times better performance than RDMA-based memory disaggregation. Now, I will explain what the CXL is and how CXL can be used for memory disaggregation. Compute Express Link, or CXL, is an open industry standard for cache coherent interconnect based on PCI Express. CXL allows devices to cache data stored in host memory without breaking cache currency. This kind of device is defined as type 1 in CXL, and core processor can be example of type 1 device. CXL also allows host to cache data stored in device memory, and such device is called type 3. Type 2 device mixes type 1 and type 3, and an accelerator with internal memory, like GPU, can be example of type 2 device. Like this, CXL supports various type of device ranging from accelerators to memory. In this work, we focus on CXL.mem protocol with type 3 device for memory expansion, which allows host to access memory with load store instruction. From now on, I will show benefits of CXL-based memory disaggregation compared to RDMA in both hardware and software viewpoint. From the hardware viewpoint, RDMA requires network connection such as InfiniBand. So, we need a network interface card with RDMA support called RNIC. In contrast, CXL enables direct access to the remote memory but we need CXL-enabled CPU and CXL controller for the device. We compared single cache line load latency of RDMA and direct CXL. Let's see the RDMA case first. Data is stored in remote DRAM, so CPU will read the data and complete DMA request of RNIC. RNIC will send data through the network, and another RNIC at the host site writes receive data to the local memory using DMA. For the CXL case, it only accesses remote memory when cache miss occurs. The data stored in the remote memory is loaded to the CXL controller, and the controller sends data to the host CPU. As load store instruction can be directly handled by CXL device, direct CXL is about 8 times faster than RDMA. From the software viewpoint, RDMA requires additional software intervention. When application calls RDMA function, user-level RDMA libraries must be involved to control the RNIC. In contrast, CXL does not introduce any software over it as it accesses remote memory using load store instruction. As a result, the performance benefit is increased to about 24 times. In this section, I will explain how we design the direct CXL by answering design questions. First design question is, how CPU can directly access remote memory. Second design question is how to realize memory disaggregation using CXL. And last design question is how application can use CXL attached remote memory. Let's begin with the first question. To enable CPU to access remote memory, the load store instruction issued by the CPU is directly converted to CXL packet. We prototype CXL CPU on a high-performance accelerator card and CXL memory device on a customized FPJ board. When application running on the CXL CPU issues memory request, the CPU will convert the memory request into CXL packet called CXL fleet. 
When the CXL fleet arrives in the CXL memory device, it converts CXL fleet back to the memory request and serves using underlying RAM. The CXL CPU implements CXL root port, which extends PCI root port with CXL support. In case of cache miss, CXL root port will convert memory request into CXL fleet. The CXL memory device implements CXL endpoint, which extends PCIe endpoint with CXL support. It converts incoming CXL fleet into memory request so that the memory controller can understand the memory request. To realize memory disaggregation, Direct CXL implements reconfigurable switch which supports multiple CXL CPUs and CXL memory devices. Our CXL switch uses the same hardware platform with CXL CPU and it supports 4 CXL CPUs and 4 CXL memory devices. The CXL switch includes reconfigurable crossbar so the connection among CXL CPUs and CXL memory devices can be changed. User can configure the crossbar through Fabric Manager. After the configuration, the crossbar will connect CXL memory devices and CXL CPU, and the connection can be changed on runtime using hot plug and hot remove feature. To expose CXL attached memory space to user, we leverage Linux memory management system. Software runtime of Direct CXL is consists of enumeration phase, initialization phase, and usage phase. When Linux PCI bus driver performs enumeration, our CXL host bridge driver discovers CXL memory devices. Remote memory of each CXL memory device is mapped to the system so that the CPU can issue memory request to the remote memory. Our CXL memory device driver is loaded after enumeration and the driver exposes character device to interact with user level application. User can create namespace through IO control and user can perform nmap on the namespace device to use the CXL attached memory space. Nmap handler of CXL device driver will map physical address space of remote memory into the user's virtual memory address space. So the user can issue load store instruction to nmap memory to use the CXL attached remote memory. Finally, I will show a demo video. In the demo, I will compare the performance of recommendation system using existing RDMA-based solution and direct CXL. We used DLRM model from Meta, and the whole embedding table is stored in the remote memory. On the left side, there are four customized FPGA boards for CXL memory devices. On the upper right side, Four accelerator cards are used for CXL host and one for CXL switch. Each terminal shows the booting process of each host. Each host's local memory is 1GB and I reserved additional NUMA node for remote memory. Our direct CXL driver will communicate with Fabric Manager to attach or detach memory devices. For the comparison, we used the same accelerator card for the RDMA system. We used implement FDR for RDMA network and one MVM SSD for creating swap partition. Each node has 48GB of system memory and the implement is initialized correctly. We ran the RRM workload and compared the execution time of each step. In the tensor initialization phase, we filled embedding table with random values. In the inference phase, we performed 10 inferences. Direct CXL was 2.8 times faster than RDMA in inference phase and 3.3 times faster in end-to-end. -end. In this work, we showed Direct CXL the world's first real CXL version 2 system for memory disaggregation. It supports CXL from bottom to top, including hardware and software runtimes. Also, it reduced monetary cost by directly accessing remote memory. And it achieves high performance remote memory accesses. This is end of my talk. Thank you for listening and please contact my advisor if you have any questions.